right, so here's my custom built 30 gallon sump. That is basically a standard 30 gallon aquarium. And some quarter inch acrylic I glued here, about an inch from the bottom right here. It basically stops bubbles from getting to the return pump. What I have is my water comes down from an overflow. And I built this three inches tall. Basically, water goes in a filter sock, goes into a chamber, overflows into a drip tray, onto some bio balls. Basically comes down and goes through a protein skimmer. You got the eShops protein skimmer. And I got a Euro USA calcium reactor. I have uh, some carbon and some phosphate. Absorber, I think it's Fosgard. Obviously, it goes through the bubble trap into my Mag Drive 7 return pump. Goes up here, 57 watt UV sterilizer, and goes up to the tank. You also have a auto top off system. It's this little switch right here. Just took a piece of acrylic, bent it around here. And that's powers an aqua lifter pump. I have my reservoir right here. It's kind of dark. And I have another switch in the bottom of it. Basically, you can see, attach the acrylic. Basically what it does is the water level is low in my top off tank here, my reservoir. It won't kick on the pump. So it won't burn up my pump. And there's the aqua lifter. And all I've done is just spliced it in. And basically that works really well. I don't have to add water every day. It just automatically fills it up. And this is where the water comes in and this kicks out right there. And basically that's my custom 30 gallon sump. Did all the acrylic work myself. Let me know what you guys think.